Lord, we thank you for today. We bless your name. Father, we bless you, name. we adore you, we magnify you, we give you all the praise, we give you all the glory. Bosa, <laughs> Ajada balada bosa katani de bosa ta jige de gede bosa thala branda bali de bosa jige de gede gede bosa banda bosa kata katani de bosa thile de bosa jige de de bosa katani de bosa katani de bosa bada balada bosa katani de bosa braga de gede 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 balada bosa jokata de de bosa thali de bosa braga de gede 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 balada bosa jokata katani de bosa thali de bosa braga de gede 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 balada bosa janda bosa thile de bosa tala branda bali de bosa jiketele de bosa tene ne bosa katane ne bosa jiketele de bosa tane ne bosa ta Jigga <laughs> 
We thank you, Lord, for this morning. We exalt your name. We magnify you. Ajada balada bosa, brede bele de bosa ta. Jeke de ke de ke de bosa, tele de bosa. Brege de ke de ke de ke de bende de bosa. Je de bosa ta, la bala de bosa ta, de de bosa bosa. Jeke de ke de bosa ta, la branda bosa. Brega de ke de balada bosa ta, la branda bala de bosa ta, la bala de bosa ta. Baga de ke de ke de bosa ta, tele de bosa ta, la bala de bosa. Jeke de ke de ke de bosa ta, la branda bala de bosa. Brege de ke de ke de ke de ke de bosa ta, tele de bosa ta. Branda Bali de Bosa, Janda Bali de Bosa, Tala Branda, Brega de Gadega de Gadega de Bosa, Tala Branda Bala de Bosa, Jada de Gadega de Gadega de de Bosa, Tala de Bosa, Tala de Bosa, Tala de Tala Branda Bali de Bosa, Tala de Bosa, Braga de Gadega de Bosa, Tala de Bosa, Tala Branda Bosa, Tala Branda Bali de Bosa, Tala Bali de Bosa, Tala Branda de Bosa, Tala Branda de Bosa, Tala Branda de Bosa, Tala Branda de Bosa, Braga de Gadega de Gadega de Bala de Bosa, Braga de Gadega de Bosa, Braga de Gadega de Gadega de Bosa, Braga de Gadega de Gadega de Bosa, Braga de Gadega de Gadega de Bala de Bosa, Braga de Gadega de Gadega de Janda Bosa, Tele Brenda Bala de Bosa, Branda Bali de Bosa, Tala Branda Bala de Bosa, Jaga de Bala de Bosa, Braga de Gadega de Bala de Bosa, Tale de Bosa. Janda bosa tele de bosa ta jeke de ke de ke de bele de bosa ta la branda bali de bosa jeke tele de bosa katane de bosa jen de bosa tele de bosa ta la branda ba branda bosa katane de bosa kata janda bosa tele de bosa la bala de bosa jaka ta le de bosa ta la de bosa Father, we give you all the praise. I welcome you, everyone, this morning for connecting to pray for this great country, Nigeria. I'm so excited. I'm so glad in my heart that you can hold my hands this morning and pray unto the Father who is ready to answer us. God has given his plans. God has spoken his word concerning Nigeria, but we have to enforce his plan. That's why we come here every morning and every night to pray before the Father. The Bible says, whatsoever we bind on earth is burned in heaven. Whatsoever we lose on earth is lost in heaven. God has given us the power to legislate um, over the earth. Hallelujah. And so that's what the kingdom of darkness understands that they're trying to um, 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 bring the power of, of, of the devil to, to be established on the earth. But that will be in the name of Jesus. Jesus speaking in, in, in Matthew chapter 6, um, verse 10 and 11, he said, um, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Uh, verse 11, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. So it is God's plan for his kingdom to be established on the face of the earth. And that is not just going to happen by talk. It is not going to happen by talk, but by the mighty power of God. The children of Israel, the Israelites were not let go from Egypt just by talk, just by Moses going to Pharaoh and saying, let, let us go that we might serve the Lord. No way. The power of God had to be at work for that to happen and so that is why we come together every morning to pray god has spoken his word concerning nigeria god will do as it pleases and no force on earth will be able to stand against the plans god has for benue state for every state in nigeria and for nigeria as a people as a nation hallelujah our problem is not buhari our problem is not any politicians the bible says in ephesians chapter 6 verse 12 that we wrestle not against flesh and blood but against principalities against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. So underlining the behavior, the misbehavior, uh, the abuse of leadership, the corruption, underlining it is a spirit, is an influence controlling everyone that steps into that office, everyone underlining spirit. There's an underlining force 
that controls the activities, that controls the actions, and every politician. Hallelujah. Let us look at John chapter 10, verse 10. It's a popular scripture, but I want us to look at it this morning. It is very important for us to gain understanding of God's word, gain understanding of what uh, the principles of God before we go ahead and pray so that we can pray with understanding in our hearts. Hallelujah. John chapter 10, verse 10, a very, very popular scripture that we all know. Is that the thief comes not and who is the thief the devil is the thief the thief does not come except to steal and to kill and to destroy i have come that they may have life and that they may have it more abundantly if in spite of the fact that jesus shed his blood on the cross of calvary and has come to offer our life people are still dying from sickness from sin from affliction from the pains and the the attack of the enemy he said the thief does not come except to steal and to kill and to destroy i have come so the devil's plan is to destroy lives in this nation the devil's plans is to destroy this nation but that will not happen in the name of jesus that is why people like you and i have been given the assignment to intercede to bring forth to bet a new nigeria hallelujah ephesians chapter 6 which we read today which i just mentioned again is ephesians chapter 6 verse 12 hallelujah a very powerful scripture ephesians chapter 6 verse 12 hallelujah God is doing great things in our lives in the name of Jesus. And every plan and purpose, do not be afraid. In spite of the hardship, in spite of the pain, do not be afraid. Because when God speaks a word, he brings it to come to pass. And no force on earth will be able to stand against it. Ephesians chapter 6 verse 12, For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood. Flesh and blood talks about people who do not wrestle against flesh and blood. We do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this world, of this age, against spiritual hosts of wickedness in heavenly places. Therefore, take up the whole armor of God. And so because you know that we do not wrestle against powers, we do not wrestle against flesh and blood. Flesh and blood talks about the human beings put in places of authority. We do not wrestle against flesh and blood. We do not wrestle against principalities. We do not wrestle against we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but we wrestle against principalities, against powers, against spiritual wickedness in high places, against the rulers of darkness of this world, hallelujah, of this age, against spiritual hosts of wickedness and the heavenly places. So you must understand, and he said, because you do not wrestle against these things, against human flesh, against blood, he said, therefore, take up the whole armor of God that ye may be able to withstand. So there is an armor to take upon you to be able to withstand. There is something that we have to activate, and that thing is activated in the place of prayers. The devil is defeated in the place of prayers, not by enticing words of man's wisdom, no. The new Nigeria cannot be birthed without the power of God, without the power of God. Every time God wants to deliver his people, there is a manifestation of power. When David came before Goliath, he said, I do not come before you with a sword. No, I come before you in the name of the God whom I serve. That's how David was able to de defeat Goliath. He did not come with a sword. So we are not coming with a sword. We are not killing any human being. We are not fighting against flesh and blood. No. We are coming in the power of God Almighty. Hallelujah. And that is enforced in the place of prayers. Hallelujah. So verse 13 says, Therefore take up the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all to stand. So you will agree with me that we are in the evil day, especially in this nation and in the world. He says, Stand therefore, having gathered your waist with truth, having you, having put on the breastplate of righteousness, and having showed your faith with the preparation of the gospel of peace, above all, taking the shield of faith with which you will be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked 
one. So there is a fiery dart that the enemy, that the devil has sent to us in this country, in this nation, Nigeria. There is a fiery dart that the enemy has sent into families. There is a fiery dart that the enemy has sent into marriages. There is a fiery dart that the enemy has sent into our economy. There is a fiery dart that the enemy has sent into our educational system. But he said, take on the whole armor of God that you will be able to stand. He said, take on the shield of faith. And so we cannot bet a new Nigeria. Our prayers cannot be even effective without faith. We have to believe that God will bring to come to pass every word that he has spoken concerning this nation. Hallelujah. And he's bringing it to come to pass in the name of Jesus. Praying always. He said, verse 18, he said, praying always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit which is the word of God, praying always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit, being watchful to this end with all perseverance and supplication for all the saints and for me, that all trans may be given to me, that I may open my mouth boldly to make known the mystery of the gospel. Hallelujah. He said, pray with always with prayer and supplication, being watchful to this end with all perseverance. So we are praying we might not see God's word comes to pass in one day. But you have to have faith and persevere in your heart that what God has spoken concerning Nigeria will come to pass in the name of Jesus. The kingdom of darkness is well equipped to fight a battle using any and every means. The devil never gives up and so we cannot give up on on God's word, hallelujah. The kingdom of darkness is strategically organized kingdom. The devil plans, he plans, hallelujah. And so we must understand his plan. Today, briefly, before we pray, I want to speak on entities of satanic entities. You know, Ephesians chapter 6, verse 12 says, We will wrestle not against flesh and blood, uh, but against principalities, against powers, against powers of darkness of this age, against spiritual wickedness in high places. And so uh, we must understand that these are principalities, powers, rulers of darkness of this age, spiritual wickedness in high places, are uh, all entities that God, are all avenues that the devil uses to um, afflict or to destroy or to pervert what he wants to do in the nation or to bring corruption. Hallelujah. And so today for more understanding before we pray, we are going to look at the entities that Satan uses to bring to establish his purposes on the earth, hallelujah, to establish his purpose on the earth. As God uses the blood of Jesus, as God uses prayer, as God uses his word, as God uses the Holy Spirit and every other avenue to establish his kingdom on the earth, that is the way Satan has put in place um, entities to accomplish and establish his kingdom on the earth. And the Bible says we should not be ignorant of the devices of the enemy. We should not be ignorant of the devices of the devil. We cannot be ignorant of that. Hallelujah. And the first thing today, which Ephesians chapter 6 verse 12 talks about, is principalities. He said we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities. Hallelujah. We wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities. Before I go on, I want you to understand that you have the power as a believer as long as you are in Christ Jesus. You must come to the understanding and the knowledge of the power that God has given you to legislate on the earth, to bring to come to a pass, to set into motion laws. What the devil does is to bring people into authority, places of authority, to um, to set laws, policies, policies that we um, progress, that we enhance his plans. But when we come in the place of prayers, we are, we are empowered to legislate and to enforce God's laws and policies on the earth. So Luke chapter 10 verse 19 has said it all. He said, behold, I've given you powers. Behold, I've given you powers to tread upon serpents and scorpions and upon all. When God says all, he means all. Upon all the powers of the devil and nothing shall by any means hurt you. And so as an intercessor, when you come in the place of prayers, you must understand that God has given you the power. When Jesus Christ died, when he was living, he gave us the power to legislate on the earth. Hallelujah. And so you must understand Luke chapter 10 verse 19. Behold, I give you powers to tread upon serpents and scorpions and upon all the powers of the devil. 
all the powers, all the powers, all the powers. I have given you power to tread upon principality, to tread upon uh, the powers of the devil, to tread upon spiritual wickedness in high places, places to tread upon uh, um. Um, to tread upon the rulers of darkness of this world. I have given you such power. He said, all, oh, when God says all, behold, I give you powers to tread upon serpent and scorpions and upon all the powers of the devil. And so if the devil is afflicting you in your family, if the devil is afflicting your marriage, if the devil is afflicting your family, if the devil is afflicting your finances, if the devil is afflicting your children, what do you have to do? You must understand that God has given you the power. If the devil is afflicting your children, Church, if the devil is afflicting your body, if the devil is afflicting your locality, if the devil is afflicting your state or your country, you must understand that God has given you the power to tread upon serpent and scorpions and upon all the power of the devil. And nothing, nothing, nothing shall by any means hurt you. He said, when you take up this, this, this assignment to tread upon serpent and scorpions, be aware. God is asking you, you know, Paul said that, that the eyes and your understanding be enlightened that you may know the hope of your calling hallelujah and so you must understand that nothing shall by any means hurt you. Nothing shall by any means hurt you. God has given you the power. I don't know how to emphasize this, but I want you to know that whatsoever is going on in your life, in your locality, in your family, in your finance, in your business, in the life of your children, God has given you the power to tread upon serpent and scorpions and upon all the powers of the devil. And nothing shall by any means hurt you in the name of Jesus. The Bible Bible said in uh, in Isaiah chapter fifty four verse seventeen that we um um he said. Um, 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 no weapon formed against you shall prosper. Every tongue that rises against you, you shall condemn. Hallelujah. He said, when the enemy shall come in like a flood, the Spirit of God lifts up a standard against him. Hallelujah. In the place of prayer, we are uh, the Spirit is moving and everything that the enemy has thrown to us as a nation, God is destroying in the name of Jesus. This, some of the entities of, of Satan, number one, principalities, it comes from the Greek word akomaya. Akomaya. That is, it comes from the group, group, group word akomaya, which means the Greek word. Principalities come from the Greek word akomaya, which means first in other. And so principalities are first. They are first in order. They are the first, they are the most hierarchy, high, um, highest ranking entities that Satan has released. Hallelujah. They are the most high ranking uh, entities in Satan's army. They influence the, the activities of humanity at the national um, uh, at the national levels. They influence laws. They influence politi policies. In Hallelujah. They are so specific in their purposes that they um, embody world leaders. And so you see that uh, world leaders take on um, the um, uh, the, 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 the entity of principalities, hallelujah, the embodying world leaders. Uh, for instance, we have Hitler. You know, you could see that Hitler had um, a demonic influence over him. And so when we are talking about principalities, we are talking about a spiritual influence over a people and over a nation and over a territory. Hallelujah. It is clearly seen that there is, an ins there is a spiritual influence over this nation, a negative influence over this nation, that when a good man gets into power. He has spoken, said so many things. I tell you the truth, some of the people who have um, contested elections and, and told us they were going to do good things, they were going to do this, made so many promises. They meant it from the depth of their heart. Honestly speaking, honestly speaking, they meant it from the depth of their heart. But you see, when they got into that place, um, that place, you know, that place, Pharaoh is a seat. When they got into that place, the influence over that place began to control them because um, there was no, the power within them was not um as 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 powerful uh the spirit working within them was not as power, powerful as the influence they had come over and so they say a lot of good things and going to power but uh, there is co a controlling spirit over the nation over this every seat over every sector that needs to be broken before we can birth a new nigeria before we can see good things happen in this land hallelujah and so hitler operated over the powers hallelujah we can say that people like Gaddafi hallelujah, operated under that spiritual, that influence. There were principalities, hallelujah. There were principalities. And so we must um, 
We must break these powers, hallelujah. We must understand these principalities. They come to influence a nation. They come to influence a locality. They come to influence a territory. And we must understand that the powers must be broken, must be destroyed before we must step into this place. And so we must break those powers before we even send people to occupy those seats. We must activate the influence of the Holy Spirit over those seats before before we can send people, hallelujah, hallelujah. In, in, in Ezekiel, we read about um, the king of Tyre, hallelujah. The king of Tyre, in, in Ezekiel chapter um, 28, verse 11, he said, Moreover, the word of the Lord came to me, saying, Son of man, take up a lamentation for the king of Tyre, and say to him, Thus says the Lord God, you were the seal of perfection, full of wisdom and perfect in beauty. You were in Eden, the garden of God. Every precious stone was your covering, the sardines, stubborn, diamond berries Ons and just pacifier, to choirs and emerald with gold. The workmanship of your timbers and pipes was prepared for you on the day you were created. You were the anointed cherub who covered. Hallelujah. He had. Then verse 17 says, your heart was lifted up because of your beauty. You corrupted your wisdom for the sake of your splendor. I cast you to the ground and laid you before kings that they might gaze at you. Hallelujah. You defied your sanctuaries by the multitude of your iniquities, by the iniquity of your trading. Therefore, I brought fire from your midst. It devolved you and I turned you to ashes upon the earth in the sight of all you saw. All who knew you among the people are astonished at you. You have become a horror and shall be no more forever. So they are king of Tars, the king of Tyre. He said, the Bible said in verse 19, he said, you have become a terror. So there are people that have become a terror in our nation, Nigeria. They have to go. Hallelujah. They have principalities that have cast out, cast over this nation influences a negative influence, the influence of perversion, of corruption, of iniquity, of immorality. They have become a terror. They have become a horror. Hallelujah. He said, you shall be no more. And so we have to pray for that. The king of Tyre, the spirit of the spirit of, of Tyre, we have to pray against principalities. Hallelujah. Remember, it means first in other, is in control, always in control. But we are overthrowing the powers in the name of Jesus. And so the first entity Satan used is the principalities. It comes from the Greek word akomaya, which is translated first in rank and other. This is the most high-ranking entity in Satan's army. Hallelujah. But we are overcoming that in the name of Jesus. The second entity the Bible talks about in Ephesians chapter 6, verse 12 is powers. It comes from the Greek word exosia. It means delegated authority. This is demonic spirit that derived their delegated authorities from principalities. So remember, we said that principalities are the highest ranking authority in Satan's army. Hallelujah. They are the highest ranking entities in Satan's army. And then we have the powers which they sit there, principalities sit there and delegate their authorities um, uh, to demons. They delegate their authorities to demons. And so um, demonic spirits derive their delegated authorities from principalities. And these, these demons, these, these demons affect and infect structures. Demons, hallelujah, um, um, and, and the seven and, and the five pillars of a society. And so there is a demonic attack over marriages, which is one of the pillars of society. And so if the marriage is not working well, society cannot function well. We have the demonic spirit over families. I say to read every time that the failure of the nation is a failure of the family. The family has failed. The society is an extension of the family. And so if the right values are instilled in the family, that is the extension of the family. Because everyone in the in the society, it comes from the family. They are products of the family. And so they are demons that have sat over the families who have corrupted the values system of the families, who have corrupted the value system of marriages, who have corrupted the value system of, of government, where there is corruption and perversion and iniquity and immorality, who have corrupted the value systems of education, who have corrupted the value systems of the church, and so the church can deviate from God's original plans from it. There are demonic spirits that have come over these five pillars of society, the church, the family, education, 
the marriage and government. And so we have to pull down these powers. Remember, we are not wrestling against flesh and blood. We are wrestling against principalities, powers, rulers of darkness of this world, spiritual wickedness in high places. And so we have to pull down these powers. We are not pulling down entities. And so it will take Buruhari out of power today. It will take Governor Samuel Tom out of power today. It will take every governor and Benoist in Nigeria out of power today. I tell you that spiritual influence, that power is there. And so things are not going to work. It's not about the people. It's about the forces there. And so we have to pull down every powers. We have to pull down every principalities. We have to pull down the rulers of darkness of this world. We have to pull down spiritual wickedness in high places. This is what is about. We have to legislate. We have to take over. It's not about the flesh and blood in those powers. No. It's about a negative, a demonic spiritual influence in those places of authority, in those sectors. Hallelujah. And so we have to pull them down. We have principalities, number one. We have powers which are delegated authorities, demons placed in to destroy homes, to destroy our education, corrupt, to pervert God's original plans, to bring in the wrong values, to pervert the church. Hallelujah. Number three, we have the rulers of the darkness of this world, which comes from the group, group, Greek word cosmocrato, cosmocrato, or skotos. Hallelujah. These are high-ranking officers that have specialized jurisdiction over the 12 cosmological systems of the universe, and they rule in the kingdom of darkness. Hallelujah. They rule in the kingdom of darkness. So we talked about principalities. We talked about powers. Well, now we are talking about the rulers of the darkness of this world. You know how the Bible said in 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 4, it said the God of this world has blinded their eyes so that their minds, so that they, they, they will not see, lest they see the glorious light of the gospel. And so there is the rulers of the darkness of this age, of this age, that has blinded the minds of the people from seeing the glorious light of the gospel, that has blinded the minds of the people from recognizing in the place of God that has blinded the minds of the people from seeing the light of the gospel of Jesus Christ. And so those are the rulers of darkness of this world. Hallelujah. They are responsible for the blinding of the minds of the people to, to, to truth and they facilitate sin, wickedness and iniquity. And so when you see people operating in sin, in wickedness, uh, um, a normal human being doesn't have the heart to keep um, uh, another human being in hunger. No, there has to be an influence. Another human being will not buy um, a cars uh, all over his houses and build houses all over all over the nation and, and people are living in poverty. No, the rulers of the darkness of this age has blinded their mind so that they will not see truth, so that they will not see um, um, they will not be able to live in righteousness. They will not show kindness. They will live in perpetual wickedness and iniquity. Some of the things, the things that most of our leaders are doing is called sheer wickedness. Hallelujah. But they are operating over the influence that is being destroyed in the name of Jesus. The key people, this, um, the rulers of the darkness of this age keep people in a state of darkness, in a state of darkness. People operating outside the fear of God. People are operating outside the influence of God. Outside the influence of God. They do not count God as anything in their life. Hallelujah. They are operating under the rulers of the darkness of this age. Who have blinded their eyes from sin. Their minds from sin. The truth. The truth. The truth. Hallelujah. The rulers of the darkness of this age affect thoughts, feelings, perceptions. In the name, they affect thoughts, feeling, perception of human beings. Hallelujah. So you wonder how some people think, but they are influenced by the rulers of darkness of this age. And they do this through the media, through, through music, through fashion, through sports, through philosophies, through religious ideologies. And that is why believers have to take this place, they have to step on to occupy the places of authority. We cannot leave the media, we cannot leave music, we cannot leave movies, we cannot leave the educational system, we cannot leave move the movie industry, we cannot um, leave government, we cannot leave religion for the people who do not know God. No, we cannot leave ideologies, thoughts, training, seminars um, to the people who do not know God. We cannot leave ideologies to the people who do not know God. We have to step in 
And by next week, I'm going to teach you on the, on the mountains of influence and on how you can occupy such mountains for a long time. You know, God said to me a few days ago, we complain that we have beer palos. We complain that our places of, um, our parks are filled with um, 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 beer and the rest and, 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 and um, uh, clubs and every other um, evil thing. And that said to me, what if a believer steps up and open a place where people can come watch football matches, where people can come um, relax but what you have there is gospel music gospel messages and and and, and, and what you have there um is just soft things what if that happens can't a believer step in and do that and so the way to overcome darkness is light if your room is dark what do you have to do you have to bring light in that's all that's all you need to do you either connect Nepal to the to, to your to your room or you connect your generator to your room. If your room is dark, you cannot sit down and begin to pray. No, you introduce light. And so one strategy is that we have to fill these places of influence in society. We can no longer leave it. Politics is not a dirty game. Politics is dirty because the people who are there are dirty. It's dirty because the people who um the influence over the politics is dirty. And so we have to um first of all the Destroy the negative influence over the policy, and then we can install the people, the right people in those places. Hallelujah. So it's prayers and strategies that will bet a new Nigeria. And so we have um, we have the first thing I talked about is powers. I talked about um, number two, um, um, I talked about principalities, number one. I talked about powers, number two. I talked about the rulers of darkness of this age who have come to blind the minds of the people. Um, that is number three. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And so you must understand. And, and then the Bible talks about... Um, the Bible talked about um, uh, spiritual wickedness in high places. Hallelujah. The Bible talked about spiritual wickedness in high places. Spiritual wickedness in high places. Spiritual wickedness in high places. Hallelujah. The devil talks about spiritual wickedness in high places. Hallelujah. The first thing we talked about, principalities. We talked about principalities. We talked about powers. We talked about the rulers of darkness of this world. We talked about, and now we are talking about spiritual wickedness in high places. Spiritual wickedness in high places. It comes from the Greek word, from the Greek phrase, pneumatikos, ponera, eporanos, hallelujah. It speaks of the types of spirits in high and lofty places that are responsible for anything that is perverted, depraved, debased, warped, or corrupt, hallelujah. This spirit is spoken of as walking from on high, is lofty, is and heavenly places, hallelujah. Um, this spirit operates, um, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. This spirit is spoken of as walking from high, lofty, and heavenly places that speak of not only celestial zones and dimensions, but also the mind. This spirit walks also in the mind, which is a type of heavenly place. This spirit influences, seduces, and falsely inspires actions, perceptions, motivation, fantasies, imagination, and appetite through the overt or covert attacks and influence of the mind affecting territorial territorial um territory and terrestrial and celestial domains so this spirit operates of affects the land it affects the 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 sea hallelujah hallelujah according to daniel in daniel chapter 10 verse 10 to 13 this spirit operate in the second heaven, frustrate the frustrate and prohibit the manifestations and answers to believers' prayers, perceptions, mindsets, paradigms, ideologies, and belief systems that are twisted and perverted to accommodate the personality of these evil spirits. Hallelujah. And so we read uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 4. Hallelujah. 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 4. Let's look at 2 Corinthians, Corinthians chapter 10, verse 4. This spirit basically perverts. Hallelujah. 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 4. Sorry, I'm taking a lot of the time today before we pray. But I need us to get these foundations so that we understand what we're dealing with and our powers. Hallelujah. 
the kingdom of darkness is real. You must understand that. Second Corinthians, you must understand that the kingdom of darkness is real. The kingdom of darkness is real, but more real is the power of God. Hallelujah. More real is the power of God. More real is the power of God. Second Corinthians chapter 10 verse 4. He said, for the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty in God, for the pulling down of strongholds, casting down arguments, and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God, bringing every thought into captivity to the obedience of Christ, and being ready to punish all disobedience when your obedience is fulfilled. Verse 4, for the weapons of our warfare, warfare are not carnal, but mighty in God, for pulling down strongholds. So, Spiritual wickedness in high places have to do, uh, do with um, strongholds, do with perversion, do with um, um, uh, thoughts, anything that is depraved, debased, um, uh, robbed, corrupt in the name of Jesus. So we see a lot of corruption in our land. We see a lot of um, perversion in our land because the spirit of wickedness is at work. The evil spirit has been released. Um, so we must pull down those spirits. Hallelujah. And then we have devils and demons.